How's it going everybody? Speaker here and welcome back to Remorse the List Part 2. When we last left off we had found the first part we needed to get into the hospital and we're going to help the character find the rest now. There's something spooky in there that they need and we're going to help them get it. So without further ado let's get right back into Remorse the List. Enjoy the video. Alrighty, so yeah, when we last left off, uh, we had actually gotten to the hospital gates, and we found the UIS, or USI, ultrasound imaging thing, and we need to find two more, an MRI and an ECG. I've absolutely no idea where they are, however, and we've got a bit to explore, so we're going to be doing that. Now, if I am correct, we actually have a memes to go down here and we didn't check this before i kind of went down here and said huh that looks kind of spooky and then bitched out so we'll take a look down here and see what we got and then we're going to take a look around the main starter area we also got the toy car so we can go put that back while we also try and figure out just where to go so far though this game is actually pretty interesting oh for fuck's sake what's that oh it's not one of these things God, these enemies are so creepy. But, uh, yeah, what was I saying? So far, this game is actually super interesting. Oh my god, really? These things just fly at you. It's so fucking unnerving. And, of course, he hit me. God damn it. Oh, that walk is so creepy. There we go. Right, can I introduce my video, please? Anyone else want to fight me? Okay. Uh, but yeah, so far, the game is actually super fun, super interesting. I'm really enjoying the vibe to it, as well as just, like, the sheer grimness of the scene, where, like, all the enemies look like something from Silent Hill creatures. And, honestly, I'm kind of curious to see what happens next. As I said, we've encountered, like, four or five different types of enemies already in 40 minutes. No, we can't go in here. Okay. Uh, in, four, in 40 minutes, we've encountered, like, four or five different types of enemies. So, I'm just kind of interested to see what they come up with next. Some of them have been really fucking creepy, though, so... Is there anything in here we can even take, or why are we even in here? Let's take the grounds. Is this where we can find one of our reports, maybe? Probably... Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, that's ammo. I'll take that. Shotgun ammo and 9mm ammo. I'll take both of them. And some batteries. Nice. As you can see, we've actually kind of restocked on batteries a bit. I uh, did a bit of exploring around some side bits uh, of the actual apartment area and i found some batteries and some boxes which was amazing oh, oh god there's another one of these there's so many fucking enemies in this game holy shit oh, i can't aim either oh god leave me alone no please leave me alone there we go Alrighty, cool but yeah there's way too many fucking enemies in this game i think that's like the whole point of it is the game just gives you so much stuff so it can take it away. It is like the I giveth, I taketh away kind of thing. We have no space in the inventory. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to go like put the toy car back or something then. Unless, can I? I can't. Oh, and that's a med kit too. Shit. Okay, so what is this? Is this something we can use? Oh, is this the MRI? Right, so we know what the MRI is. We can come back for that. Cool. Right, here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to go back to the original area uh, that we started at. And I'm going to put the toy car in place so we can free up an inventory slot. All right, uh, where did we even go? I think it was like this way. Yeah, I think it was this way. Oh, God, no. No, it was this way? Shit, I don't know where to go. Uh, I think it was this way, yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't this way, but we have a door here. What's this? It's locked with an image of a statue on it. Okay. And is this image of a statue around here at all? Oh, is that it there? It is. Okay. So, what? Do we have a statue puzzle? I'm not even going to try and read that. I have a note here as well. What's this? Dad said yesterday that we were going to wake up early in the morning today, so we went to sleep right after bathing. 
I really wasn't sure uh, what we were going to do, but then mom said we were going to the fun fair today. We tried everything and got on all kinds of fun rides. Mom dislikes it, but dad was cool and let me many cotton candies and ice creams. Uh, okay. And we have like a triangle on this box as well. What the fuck kind of puzzle is this? Oh, okay. Do we have to actually match up the story then? So like they woke up early. They went to the fun fair. And she ate cotton candy. Yeah, there we go. Easy puzzle. Oh shit, and my fucking flashlight wastes even when I'm actually in a puzzle. With the key. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go put this key in the door then, right? And we'll come back to this area later. Because there's already so much I've got to explore. And we just don't have the time to be adding even more areas just yet. So we will do this. We will put key here. Use. And then we'll come back for that later. Because... I just do not have the actual space in my inventory to find items, and I've already got like three areas I want to explore. At least. Yeah, I think this is where we had to go. Okay. Then, if I remember correctly, it was like, there's no more enemies here. I'm going to save the game just in case, actually, because I'm scared. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it was like, oh, wait, there's some boxes here, too. Me ammo? No? Okay. It was over here somewhere that we had to go to get the thing. So let's go put it in. Okay, so here we go. So we just put the item on here, I'll assume. That's the wrong button. There we go. Toy carry in. Oh, I just know What the hell is this? Is this like another fucking building to check? Okay. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. We've had dog. This game is a literal 10 out of 10. And there's nothing you can say that will actually change my mind. Can we go in the building or is this just to pet the dog? We can go in the building, okay. How did I miss this on the first go around? Okay. We have around here. Got a room with nothing in some magazines. A gamer with their gamer setup. You found the padlock key. Oh, is this the key for the padlock that we couldn't get into earlier? Oh shit, let's go check that. Let's go fucking pet the dog again, because you can't, like... For real, any game that lets you pet the dog is the best game ever. You know what? I'll do it one more time. It's a golden retriever, too. And these things are adorable. I don't know why he's, like, chilling here in a... Actually destroyed neighborhood, but you know what? Do you, my guy. Now, um... If I remember correctly, our... Yeah... The padlock gate was over here. And there's actually an entire area here we can check. So maybe this is where we'll find our um, ECG result. Because we know where the MRI is. So we just need to check the ECG. So let's go check over here. Is this the padlock key? Let's find out. It is. Alrighty, so... What the hell is in here? Hopefully, like, not a bunch of enemies. Because that would be bad. I do really enjoy this game, however, right? I gotta say, though, I do enjoy this game. There's just one thing that really annoys me so much about it. And that is the flashlight distance. Like, the darker it gets, it feels the more useless the flashlight is. Like... I'm literally, like, that's like five feet away, not even. It's impossible to see at, like, longer dark ranges with it, or it's impossible to actually see in the dark with it. It's either, like, the flashlight is too weak, or it feels like the darkness in the game is, like, way too strong. Maybe. Save book here. I'm kind of scared that we have a save book, so I'm just going to save the game. Again. 
Usually when officers say book in the middle of nowhere, I... Oh, what the hell are you... A shovel! Oh, fuck! This is a weapon. It is! So we can just hit people with a shovel. I am so okay with this. Sloth, of course, is. Right, so I guess we can go into the uh, sports store. Is there anything in here we can take? Preferably some uh, ECG results. Please. So I don't have to go looking for them. Nothing in here. That's an enemy in the changing room. Oh, what the hell are you? What the fuck is that thing, man? Fucking hell, solid snake. Calm down. Holy shit. So they got enemies hiding in boxes now as well with no like hands or feet. The enemy design in this game is way too many and this is a backpack. Lovely, we got more item slots, I'll take that. Oh, and it's being held by a bunch of hands. This game really is fucked, holy shit. My fucking god, man. Okay, well at least it was worth coming here. I'll be being fucking spooked. I need another med kit. It's locked, I need a key to open it. Oh, okay. I wonder is there a key we can look for? In here. Maybe. The body's gone too, which is not good. Oh, it's right here. Block three key. Oh shit, let's go in. I am all for more free shit. Especially now that we got the space for it. You need a key to open it, you say? Here you go. Uh, please. So we got an entire area here we could have missed if we hadn't, like, found that dog, uh, area. Also, this looks like, uh, very easily to be killed area, I'm not gonna lie. items here either 32 health i need to find a med kit again oh fuck, oh fuck oh fuck this shovel is really strong though but i'm gonna have to use the handgun for a bit because uh we will die horribly otherwise any med kits please no no med kits oh this is not good Okay, well, let's keep going and hope we find some healing because this is not looking good. Like, melee weapons in this game are really decent, but the problem is the enemies, like, seem to have a ridiculous range on their hits. So it's like, do I use a melee weapon? Oh my god, she's gonna stab me. Please don't stab me. Fucking hell, man. It's like, do I use a melee hit to take him down or I'm risk getting hit or do I just smack him? Oh my god, is that... That's a fucking Uzi. Wait, does the Uzi use the same ammo as me 9mm? Does that mean I could swap the handgun out for an Uzi, is it? It does! Holy shit, okay. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna put the handgun in my secondary slot. I'm gonna waste its ammo and I'm gonna drop it. First, though, we need uh, some fucking heals. Please, anywhere. Healing, I'll take it. This is not looking good. I think I'm going to need to run back towards the MRI and grab the goddamned med kit we found there. Yeah. This is going to be interestingly dicey, especially if enemies have respawned. Let's, uh, let's go. Okay, we're nearly there. I just need to make sure I get the med kit, use it immediately. It doesn't look like there's anything around here, so we grab both of them. I'm going to just in here, one and heal. And we are actually good to go. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna drop the shovel, honestly, because I do like the idea of 
there being a good selection of weapons, including melee weapons. But most of them just they don't feel like they work really well. It's like, yeah, you can get a good few hits off on the enemies, but you're guaranteed to get smacked once or twice. And it feels like health is a really not common resource. <laughs> Alright, let's go slap this in here. And then we're just looking for the EKG. Which, honestly, I'm starting to think it might be in the building uh, that we visited before. Uh, where we did the crown puzzle. Because there is no reason for it to be anywhere else. Like, it's not in this area. It's not in that area. And... There's no reason for them to put it miles away. We checked even all the way over there, and it wasn't here. So unless it's like, uh, if we check our thing, unless it's all the way over in the medical center here, or the pharmacy, or drugstore, or wherever it is, I don't know where else it could be. So we're going to really quickly hop back into the apartment complex, and I'm just going to comb it around and see if I can find the damn thing. Because generally each one has been denoted with the actual letters being written in blood nearby, so... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it is in here. Look, ECG is written everywhere. So I just missed it, it would seem. I'm fucking blind. That's so fucking freaky. Okay. Oh, and we can't go down here anymore. What the hell? Okay. Right, so. Let's look around and see if we can find these goddamn ECG results. I'm gonna use my flashlight this time. And there's that thing there. I really kind of would have put it out of its misery. It looks like the body is like shrinking and it's turning into more heads. And it's, oh my god, that is so nasty. It is some human centipede shit. Alright, is there any KG results around here? I swear to god if I missed it and I'm just blind. I mean, I won't do anything because I am just blind. Is this it? Oh, it fucking is. Okay, right. Well, cool. We got them all. Let's get the hell out of here. I can't believe I fucking missed that. God damn it. I mean, I can. I'm really blind. I would literally miss a rocket launcher if it wasn't, like, right in front of my face. Case in point, me playing most Resident Evil games. Alrighty, so we want to go and really quickly slap this on here. And that's all three medical reports found. We're going into the hospital, I think. Yeah, here we go. St. Maria's Hospital. I assume is what that reads. Alrighty, cool. So, uh, we can save the game here again. We're going to do that. I'll save it here, yeah. Keep like a third save or something, just in case. What the hell is- Oh! What the hell are you? Oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, blood spikes, lovely. Uh, oh god. Jesus Christ, game. Okay, so we found a new enemy. He is dropping blood spikes on us. Oh, and there's another one here. How many fucking enemies are in this game, man? Jesus. Oh, wait, shit. I'm supposed to be, like, not reloading this so I can drop it. I gotta remember that. Oh, my God. How many of you are there? Can I please grab some ammo and do my thing here? 10 millimeter ammo. We getting so much 9 mil ammo as well. It's great. I'm going to get a code here if for that, which we don't know, so we're going to have to leave it for now. Seems we can't damage that thing, which is a pain. Over there, but we can't go into it this thing. Right, I'm going to drop this handgun now. So we got the TMP, whatever this is. Nothing here. Yeah, that thing seems to leave me alone if I leave it alone. So let's just do that. Uh, 007 slash 2 desk. Okay. Oh, I lo oh god. No, it doesn't leave me alone. 
What the fuck, man? I thought we had a truce. You prick. Yeah, it seems we cannot damage it at all. We need something else in here. Um, it was only a second. It did not hurt at all. The blood that gave us life can take it too. And then we gotta put something in there. Okay. So we need to find 007 slash 2. And that's 005 slash 1. So that means we gotta find room 7 on the second floor, I think. Where the fuck is the stairs? Oh, it's dead! We did kill it! Holy shit! Get fucked, you weird blood outline! Whatever the hell you are! Okay, there's nothing in here. Where the fuck is the stairs? Oh, here we go. Is it stairs? Yes. And it's make it too. Okay, so, um, oh, and there's 002. Right. It's really spooky in here. Oh no, not another one of you. I'm trying to like, you know, not spend all my ammo at once. It's kind of like single tap. Okay, we're looking for 007 slash 2. This is it. And they said desk, so... Ah, here we go. Yes, they found a weird hole on the first floor in the storage room, and it was behind... Oh, okay, so we gotta go back to the storage room now. Oh, fuck. What are you? Oh, is that a puzzle? Oh, it is. It's like a giant Rubik's Cube. Okay. Ah, it's a Rubik's Cube with a fucking passcode on it. 9462. Okay. We gotta remember that. Is there any ammo here? Yes, there is. Some more healing. Alright, so, we got 9462, which we can probably use on the... Uh, door that we had over there. And then we've also got the hole in the stairs, which I think that's closer, so let's take a look. Another hole in the stairs. The hole in the basement. Which, yeah, it's here. Is that it? Yo, okay. And um, we're in Silent Hill Land again, I guess, or... The equivalent of it. Oh, fuck. These things are so fucking spooky. Oh, my God. They just, like, come around corners and just scare the hell out of you. I didn't jump there. You saw nothing. Okay, so we got a weird body here. Made up of parts. It's fucking weird. These things. Oh, let me get a maze. Okay. A maze made of barbed wire and metal poles. Okay. Something over there. No, there isn't. Okay. I'm so lost. I hate this place already. Go through here. Let me go through here. And we find a fucking shotgun. Let me put the shotgun in there. Ho ho. Yes, please. I am very happy to uh, take this off the game's hands. Oh, I need to put this to use. Holy shit. Okay, where the hell do we go? This way. Okay. Shotgun shells and left side of a brain. What the actual fuck? Why? Oh. 
Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's fucking game. I'm in the Game Boy. You are dead, okay. This actual game is so good at building fucking tension. And just in general being a pain in the ass. Okay, and then where do we go? I think it's back out this way. Yeah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, maybe the brain goes in here. So it looks like it fits snugly. Yeah, okay, right. So we need to find the other half of the brain. Which might possibly be in this door here. Which, if I think I'm right, which I don't think I am. The code was 9462. Yeah, okay. All right, let me get another half of the brain here. Okay, cool. Another Game Boy thing, okay. How many more of these do we need? We need four more and we've got them all. Okay. I mean, I might as well keep a lookout for them. Let me get like a uh, hospital picture there. Can't open that door. That your mom was attached to. There's nothing else in here. Dude, I'm so happy I have a shotgun. Like, honestly, in any survival horror game, the moment I get a shotgun, I feel immediately more safe. Okay, let's go put this brain over here and then just be done with that. Oh, that sounds so nasty, man. It really does, does sound nasty as fuck. I'm gonna save the game as well because I haven't saved in a while. And I'm kind of worried that I may die and lose my new toy. Yeah, here we go. Let's save. All right, let's go check out the door. Which looks very ominous and covered in blood and rust. Kind of gives me some spooky vibes that I'm not okay with. Note here. This document is made to help the user with the operation of the incinerator machine. Please follow the instructions step by step. Place the material that would be burned into the hatch marked with number two. Close the door of the incinerator marked with number three and lock it. With the lever of the wall, ignite the incinerator. Oh, okay, so we gotta burn some shit, do we? Seems like an in-depth tutorial for uh, this, so we probably have to use this. A night should take several uses of the lever on the wall. When the incinerator is done with the operation, the gas circulation will stop and the door opens automatically. Okay. Oh, and we've got a bunch of ammo. Why well, I feel that this is a potential boss fight. Are we gonna have to burn something? Bunch shit with human body. Can you forgive her for leaving you? Will you let memories burn away? Oh, okay. Do we have to find I oh I see. Is this gonna be like a boss and we've gotta like burn our memories away or some shit? Agnes, okay. So where is said boss? Oh, there she is. Some ammo here. Oh god, hello. A wedding ring. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So we have to burn the items. I see we can shoot her, right? Oh, she just doesn't take any damage. Never mind. Never mind, there is no point in shooting her. It's a waste of ammo. She doesn't take damage. Okay, so where is this fucking incinerator? Is this it? That's not it right here okay so we're gonna have to burn the items to kill her i think burn and then we run away and i assume we just repeat the process two more times to the other items which uh there's some baby shoes Right here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we have to run. Alright, so we have the kiter while also trying to turn on that fucking uh thing. Get 
didn't work. I guess it worked. We got it. With some revolver ammo too. So there's one more item around here we get to find. Is this it over here? Yes. Kids drawing. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's burn the shit. Sorry, Agnes. I don't know who you are, but you know, this shit seems important to you. So I'm sorry in advance. Oh, we didn't put it in. We didn't put it in. Oh, let me out. Let me out. I'm dead. 34%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. I have a med kit, I think, but I don't want to use it now. All right, quick. Let's go do this. There we go. Is that everything? What do we do then? Yeah, she's gone. Okay. She just dies anyway. Okay, so... What? Did, is this what we had to do, or could we have just like, shot her? Because when I shot her with a shotgun, she took no damage. So, I kind of figured we just had to do that. Maybe it's a good ending, bad ending system. We, like, follow the idea of letting go of our hatred for her or something. And... We then get, as a result, a good er or a better ending. Oh, here we go. But if we straight up kill her, we get a bad ending. I don't know. Let's uh, head down this way. Oh, and the photo of Agnes. This is the second memory thing. Okay. So we just need one more memory and we've got them all. I should probably go back and put this back then. Right, cool. As soon as I stop walking, whatever the hell that's about. Aha. Another med kit, which we don't have space for. Which we have space for. Okay. So, uh, I guess we can leave the hospital now. And we cannot go back there. So these story areas. Fuck, it's another box monster. Christ. Yeah, these areas can't be revisited once we've done them. I'm going to also equip the Uzi so I don't waste the shotgun. To you again. Oh, we gotta wait until he materializes to shoot him, I think. He's literally just a pile of blood. Cool effect, but I hate the enemy so much. Oh, for fuck's sake, no one these things. It really does feel just when they give me enough ammo, they decide to like throw a bunch of enemies at me. I mean, I get it. You want to keep on edge, a uh, person on edge completely, and you want to like make sure they just don't hoard all their ammo. But such a pain in the ass. Okay, so I think we want to head back this way into the tunnels. And this should be the way back. And hopefully enemies haven't respawned for like a third. Oh my god, you can't. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore him. I'm going to ignore him. So I don't think we need to come back here at all. So we might as well just leave, right? It's just an ammo sink. I don't want to waste money on that money. Ammo, hun. I don't think we need to come back here, so... It's just a waste to use it. I'm expecting some enemies to have respawned here as well. Which it doesn't seem like they have. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with this. Means I can run straight up here, put the item in, and then I guess we have to go to the triangle key then. Oh my god, really? God, they take so much ammo to kill. I do really like the reloading animations as well, which is kind of cool. They definitely have done a good job of, um... Oh, 
No, another one needs to... That thing just fucking skates towards me. Oh, it's another one. I honestly probably should have stuck with the handgun over this. Because this is like just wastes way too much ammo. Let's get over here really quickly. Go and put the item in. Yep. And then we're also going to go and pet the dog, who is still somehow alive. It won't let me pet the dog. What the hell? I'm not allowed to pet the dog anymore. Okay, cool. This game's gone from a 10 out of 10 to like 7. Alright. So I guess we're heading towards where we unlock the door with the triangle key. Although, honestly, I think we should finish it here. We've been going for a good 40, 45 minutes. So, yeah, I think we're going to finish it here. We cleared the hospital, which is a good amount of, um... A good amount of actual time done. And I think we should maybe continue tomorrow. Yeah. So, lads, I'm going to finish the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Remorse the List Part 2. It's actually a really interesting and fun game. I actually love the enemy design so fucking much. And uh, it's been actually pretty fun. So we're going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to play the game yourself or follow the devs, there'll be links in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching and bye-bye for now. We've had dog. This game is a literal 10 out of 10. And there's nothing you can say that will actually change my mind. This is a backpack. Lovely. We got more item slots. I'll take that. Oh, and it's being held by a bunch of hands. This game really is fucked. Holy shit. What the hell are you? Oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, blood spikes. Lovely. Uh, go through here. Let me go through here. And we find a fucking shotgun. Let me put the shotgun in there. Ho oh, ho. Yes, please. I am very happy to uh, take this off the game's hands.